Well, hi everybody. I'm sitting here in our cottage fixer upper and I am gonna share with you an update of what's been happening over the past several months in this little 450 square foot space. So if you've been following along, you know what it came from to an old workshop with everything needing to be gutted. And so we're making it a one bedroom, one bath, little living space with a little kitchenette to make as an Airbnb. So what has currently happened from the time you last watched to now, I have my little list here because there's been quite a bit and we have hired out quite a few projects to be done. So starting from the last video, we had just put up the sheetrock and the floor had some unlevelness to it. So we had some self-leveling concrete poured. So from that point, we had the walls painted and textured and the color on the wall is a Benjamin Moore white dove. I wanted a creamy white color as it's a very small space, like I said. So having that done really brightened up the space and the ceiling is the same color. I just thought I'd go with that to keep it very um, neutral and very bright when people enter in here. And then we got flooring and we hired the flooring out as well. So we got the flooring, I wanna say from Lowe's or Home Depot, one of the two, and it's uh, a life proof vinyl plank to pillow oak is the type of flooring the coloring that we got as well and I love the color of it um, I'm surprised I did so well picking it out to be honest because I looked online and ordered it online for it and I really like the color of it it's not too orange and it's not too dark so I think it really just makes this space look really nice and then we went to the window casings. Now my husband has been doing the window casings. He looked up how to do the type of window casing that I wanted. It's kind of a farmhouse cottage style window casing. And um, if you wanna know more details about that, please ask in the comments below because I'm not gonna go into details about how every little project was done. But I thought I wanted to kind of make it look a little more origin original to what a 1900 house little house would look like so he worked on putting all the window casings together and i think did a fabulous job and then he also put up the shiplap which is a pretty simple thing to put up especially when they're really nice flat boards we did shiplap in our own house and we got some pretty warped boards which took a long time but this looks really great and that is kind of like our accent wall where the bed is going to go and so um, the shiplap then, I just painted a bright white off the shelf from our local Ace Hardware and um, I've been currently painting the window casings and the floorboard um, baseboard. It is a Benjamin Moore color, let's see. It is Revere Pewter from Benjamin Moore. Um, we just used it in our local Ace Hardware um, company's brand but using the Benjamin Moore color if that makes sense. So I've currently been painting that but before that all happened to the kitchen countertops um, and cabinets were installed and the cabinets I'll put in the description box for you what they are and the countertop too. We did go with a laminate countertop but that has a marble look to it just because we know it's going to get a lot of wear and use we didn't want to do butcher block because that's a lot of upkeep and maintenance and we didn't want people actually cutting on it um, and we didn't want a real expensive piece as like we said it's going to be an airbnb and people aren't going to take as good of care of these things as i really would so um, that is getting installed the counter you can see is behind me because my husband needs to cut the hole for the sink that we are getting and so it's a very tiny little kitchenette area but it is going to do justice for this space and I think it really just actually makes the space come together. And then I just ordered a few poles, cabinet poles, in like a bronze color because I really liked the look of that. Um, and so that is pretty much in. And so like I said, it's to the painting that we've been doing and putting the baseboards in. My husband's been installing the baseboards. I'm doing some painting and we're getting this place trying to look finished. Um, the baseboards, if you're curious, are a four inch baseboard. I wanted something a little bit thicker to kind of go again with that 1900 older look, not something too thin, not something too fancy. 
and so I just wanted kind of something more older traditional look and it's really just wood and same with the window casings. One other thing that we did do was add this mini split heating and air conditioning unit. It's kind of like a hotel style unit and um, it just has the little mini split sitting outside up on a stand. That's why it's called split and then it will heat and cool this whole space. So that was something that really helped so we can work on it, work on this space in the hot summer days. So what's to come, finish the painting, finish the baseboards. Uh, we need to trim out the door. We need to get a door for the bathroom. And then once we get the sink in and our bathroom vanity and toilet, which we actually had the toilet already. The bathroom vanity was a DIY project my husband and I did from an old dresser. Um, I'll put that video in the description box too. But that then we can get the plumbers to come and finish that all up. And then the next step would be to get probably the furniture and stuff in. So rugs and a bed. I already have the couches, chairs, um, I had a video on that as well if you want to check that out in the description box of the furniture and items that I picked up. And we need to add some open shelving above the counters in the kitchen, get a stove, get a little mini fridge, and we're going to have a washer and dryer in here for me to do laundry for the guests or for the Airbnb. Um, and just to have to as well just in case we ever do rent it out to a full-time renter. So those are the next things. and then window treatment um so blinds and i want to do the bamboo style blinds if you guys think that would look good i really do and i love the look of what they look like so i think that's what we're gonna go with for the blinds in here um we have the lights to put like the sconces alongside the bed it'll be right here and along the vanity in the bathroom so there is not much left it's just going to be finishing these final touches making the time to get it done so I hope you stick around um, on these videos to see what is to come and how this space officially turns out. I've been looking at some other things to do in this house, like artwork, stuff like that, but really that's not the big deal right now. You definitely have to get those bigger things done first when you're doing a project and then you can get to the aesthetics after. So. I hope you enjoyed seeing this update and I will be coming at you with another video next week. Alright.